Hey YouTube, Satoshi Matrix here yet again bringing you another video. This time I thought I'd do a game room video on the behest of some of my subscribers. Now, I've been a little bit hesitant to do a game room video for many reasons, but the main reason for it is because as an active game collector, my collection continues to grow so these, quick, these kind of videos quickly become obsolete and there's really no point to them after a while. But Nevertheless, I thought I'd do this just as a timepiece to show you my current gaming collection so you guys can see what I have. Um, so, first focusing again on the amazing CRT TV that I have, the Color Pilot 24-inch CRT but from 1984. If you want to see more on this, you can check um, the link and I'll put it right here, right now. Yeah, check it out. It's totally awesome. This is an amazing TV. So, moving on to my main shelf here, you'll see on top I have an old Enterprise. Enterprise A, I should say. Um, then I have my GameCube collection. My GameCube collection includes some of my favorite games of all time and includes some rarities. Um, like here I have Cube of Ore. I know this game goes for quite a bit. Also have, um, let's see, Pool Paradise. Absolutely love this game. It's an amazing pool billiards game as well as custom covers for Resident Evil 1, 2, 3, 4, and Resident Evil Code Veronica X. As you can see, these covers here much nicer than the stock ones. Put it back. Alright, so there's GameCube, and then moving on to the Wii collection, I have Fragile Dreams, and uh, The Castle of Shigami 3, Some more game, more Wii I should say, Wii, 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 and then into Xbox 360. My 360 collection isn't that great because I'm sort of lukewarm on the Xbox 360 to be honest. I have it, but I don't really play it as much as I'd like. Um, favorite 360 games include Dead Rising, Earth Defense Force 2017, and of course the Orange Box. So there's more of the Xbox 360 down here, then into my two little containers that I have, a whole various little memory cards, these I can make, and I can make in any size or shape you want, so if you're interested in one, just PM me. Okay, and then moving on here is my spindle of um, Dreamcast games, and then here's a CD wallet containing Sega Saturn games, and here is Super Nintendo games. So, for these games, a lot of these I don't have custom covers for, so I've just labeled them. You can see. More Super Nintendo. Including some of my favorite games. There's Final Fantasy 3 or Final Fantasy 6. Parodius. That is Goku Joe Parodius. As you can see, Goku Joe Parodius. It's Mega Man X 1, 2, and 3, plus Mega Man 7 and Mega Man Soccer. More Super Nintendo games. Here's Repro of Star Fox 2. It's a really great game. Prototype. More Super Nintendo, Super Famicom Wars. Fantastic game. Super Nintendo goes on. And then Sega Genesis games. Now my Genesis collection is not that big because I don't really have um, anywhere I can buy Genesis games locally. But I have the games that really are ma that really matter to you, such as you know amazing games such as Shaq Fu. Um, Sonic 3, 
Thunder Force 2, and of course the infamous Zero Wing. Alright, and then you have N64 games. Um, again, N64, not really my favorite system, but I do have some games I like, such as Doom 64 here, um, Mischief Makers, such a good game. Pokemon Puzzle League, which is Puddle de Pond with Pokemon. And there's N64. So, getting up again. Back to my systems. Here's my Wii, Super Famicom, Fam AV Famicom, and NES2 Top Loader. And then I have, beside them, I have my two adapters. This one here is an adapter um, that I, it's homemade adapter, it's a gyromite adapter, it works by, um, you plug in to, into an NES, a North American NES, and you can play Famicom games on it. And, because I have both systems, I have the reverse. And this one is a Famicom adapter, plugs into a Famicom, and allows you to play NES games on top. So I have those there, just every time I need them. There's my Wii, there's my TV, I should say, and in the cabinet... I have my multi-system selector, this one and this one, two of them. I have uh, my N64, PlayStation 2, Xbox 360, NES 001, eight, uh, that's the Sega CDX, the Sega Dreamcast, or Sega Saturn, and Sega Dreamcast. And behind the doors, close those. Behind these doors, I have my Atari 2600 with controller. And I have uh, one of my one of my arcade sticks, another one of my arcade sticks, and another one of my arcade sticks. This holds just a few of them. I don't have everything. So I'm gonna close the doors and continue on and show you up here. So here I have my two twin speakers that hold um, that that allow this TV to be surround sound, um, which is such importance for you know Super Nintendo, Sega Genesis, etc. Even I have my NES hooked up to that, and NES games through surround stereo sound, mono, or whatever, sounds really awesome. It's recommended. So here I have PlayStation 2. Here is PlayStation 3. My, play my PS3 games that I love, absolutely love, include the Eco and, S Eco and uh, Shadow of Colossus collection. Oblivion, and of course Skyrim. So there's more PlayStation 2 games, including some imports. Here's Melty Blood Actress again. Uh, there's Mega Man Legends, Mega Man Legends 2, and The Adventures of Tron Bon. Such an awesome game. It's Persona 4. Persona 4 Player's Guide, which just happens to be the same size as the game. It's hard to put that back, so I'll put that back later. Up here I have I have more PS2 games, and then I have original Xbox games. Original Xbox, underrated system. Above that I have a few more games. Up there you can see is the Family Basic version 3 for the Famicom. This is quite a rare item, especially boxed. See, it's the Famicom Basic. The Family Basic. This was basically um, basic programming for the Famicom. Pretty cool. Above that, I have GameCube and a bunch of NESs and my other Super Nintendo. So, going here, there's Mario. Here I have, in these bins, um, bottom bin, I have um, my spare, or extraneous, um, miscellaneous um, power supplies. Then I have my AV jacks, and above that is more controllers and stuff. So, let's move back here again. Just gonna grab this. Okay, now here you can see are my NES games. So up top you have I have my Atari Flashback 2, um, Game Gear, and DMG Game Boy. 
as well as my NES collection. So here's just some of my NES games. Oh, that's it's better or not? I guess that's worse. So yeah, um, NES games. I love the NES, and I have some. I have some rarities, including who's uh, the Great Cart Zelda next to a Gold Cart Zelda that's in immaculate condition. This there's no scratches on this whatsoever. It's perfect. Yeah, here I have. Maxi 15, as well as Mega Man 1. I, I have two copies uh, Mega Man 2, Mega Man 3, Mega Man 4, Mega Man 5, and Mega Man 6, as well as reproduction copy of Metal Force, game only released in Korea. Uh, it's a Metroid, the original one, and the rare yellow cart version. Mr. Gimmick Repro from Retrozone, Ninja Gaiden 1, 2, and 3, as well as POW, the original version of Pac-Man, the licensed Tengen version, Pac-Mania, the amazing power pack, flash cart. Let's see more NES, more NES. More NES until you get to Atari 2600 games and miscellaneous Game Boy. So, all that, go back to the top again. You have more handheld systems. There's the DS, um, DS Lite, I should say. Um, the Neo Geo Pocket Color. The uh, Nintendo DSi XL. The Generation Next. And there is the um, Retro Duo, and a spare, uh, that's a spare uh, Game Boy Player along with disc. That's for sale if anyone is interested, just PM me. More NES games. Nothing really worth noting. Um, yeah, just a lot of NES games. Then I have Famicom games. Here you'll see my Famicom games, my various Famicom games that I have. So, uh, this is Akimajo Densetsu, Akimajo Boku Dracula Kun, Astro Boy, Atlantis No Nazo, Balloon Fight, etc. etc. So this goes on. You can see that I have quite a collection here, including the Famicom Basic version, um, version 2 and 3. As well as games that I've labeled myself. Well, I've done all these labels, but I'm just saying. There's Rock Band 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, and 6. There's a few of my multi carts Super Mario Brothers 1, 2, and 3. There's the Famicom Disk System version of 2. More Famicom. And then I have Famicom Disk System games, miscellaneous, and miscellaneous Famicom games. Then I next to that I have my uh, boxed and sealed original NES games. So I only have two games. So here I have City Connection. This is a sealed copy of City Connection. And beside that I have the my sealed copy of Star Soldier. Next to that I have my own my sole sealed Famicom game. This is Monster Maker. And I'll put that there for now. And beside that, I have my box copy of Pocket Monsters Red and Blue, the original versions. Then, box copy of Famicom version of Super Mario Bros. 3. Below that, almost finished now, I have my Nintendo DS and 3DS collection. And then my GBA collection. Including some games I'll get to eventually, and I want to talk about uh, like like the play in. So there's my GBA collection, and at the bottom is more NES games. These are my miscellaneous bad NES games. So uh, yeah, that's basically it. So that's my collection, YouTube. So thanks for watching.